Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I'm coming to you from this very comfortable hammock. I don't think I've ever been more relaxed as I drink my tea and look at the nice views outside. Um, we're currently in a very remote or countryside of Donegal um, here towards the west coast of Ireland. We've come on a little trip and we're staying in this really cute converted cow shed. So it was a cow shed before and they've converted it into this really rustic Airbnb and it's so cool. It's got such a cool vibe. Um, so the plan I think is that Chris is gonna put a roll of portrait into the film camera and we're gonna try and get some pictures around this place because it's just too cool not to. Um, there's just so many unique things going on and it's just such a cool little space so yeah we're gonna try and incorporate that into some of the photos and yeah that's well the first plan for the day anyway hopefully the lighting stays it's quite nice quite right now but the rain we've seen that it's a theme where the rain just keeps coming back and and forth so yeah we'll see what we can do but i'm just i'm just chilling here at the moment you okay there chris chris is here I want one of these for my home. Okay, so got the roll of port reloaded in and looked around for the first composition of this little mini photo session in the cow shed here. Uh, the window with the little uh, sort of bench and the cute little red seat just lo looks really nice a, a little writing desk thanks for that i mean it doesn't get much more of a rustic feeling than this i'm just waiting for a nice bit of light to sort of come in and at least light the outside or, or glow in a little bit and i will take the shot i mean it's pretty cute so Port to 400, I'm gonna rate it at 200, so I'll be overexposing a bit. Okay, um, I don't think the light's gonna get any better than this. I was hoping the glow was gonna come in. It's just kind of skimming in. It is hitting the outside there on the grass, which is kind of nice, so I think I'll just go with this. I'm uh, going for F8 at one second, and I'm gonna use a little self timer. Shot number one. Okay, shot number two after some waiting once again on light. This time, this being a cow shed, it has the little split door, which I think is pretty cool you can just kind of peek out hang out your door drink your coffee tea whatever and um, but they also have another little um, shed here which I'm framing through the top half of this door and I think it looks pretty damn nice and I have f8 because I want everything besides the door frame in focus and distance and I'm gonna do that at like 160th Again, probably going more overexposed this time because I did underexpose a few in the last roll or the first roll. <laughs> and I don't want to do that again, so. Okay, shot number three is actually gonna be very similar to the shot I just did. Um, that was the little hut to the left. There is actually the other, another little cottage here. This one's very tricky. I have limited experience exposing stuff like this. Um, the sun is hitting directly on the side of this white cottage, which is extremely bright. And then the grass has some light on it too, but then we have the real darkness of the foreground here. So I don't know the bright part on the cottage says, one one thousandth of a second shadowy bit of grass is one sixtieth 
I know Porter can handle a lot, but that, that is a lot. I'm going for F8, so I think I'll do 125th. This is going to be a bit of an experimental one because I'm not sure. That is a huge dynamic range right there, but let's give it a go. Kind of cool. We have the mountains in the background, we have some clouds and some blue sky. The timer is so handy on this thing. One, two, three. I'm just gonna take it. F8 130. Ah. All right, definitely time to go. <laughs> Hailstones. All right, I've just lined up another shot. The mountains in the distance are just layered with snow at the top. And there's just a little bit of clear sky, which is letting the light shine on them. And then I've got the field in the foreground with all these mossy stones and some sort of, uh, like, what do you call those? In the field, just scattered I around. I never know the names of any. I know. Uh, I literally said it last night. But anyway, looks kind of cool. I'm just waiting for this one little cloud to sort of sit in between the mountains. And I'm going to take this one this time, F11 at 130th. It's kind of tricky because the foreground's all sort of flat and then just a really bright mountain. Very close. All right. One, two, three. actually the next morning now because uh rain and <laughs> kind of crazy in Donegal hailstones like four times this morning now it's kind of nice um not as nice as it was yesterday morning but there is just a lot of stuff kind of around the little cottage that's kind of cool this little bench and sort of little fire fire bucket what do you call them fire little fire little thing to have a fire in <laughs> And then we just have the mountains in the background, sort of the, like dips in the valley. There's not much, there's a tiny little house in the distance, but kind of a cool shot, I think. It's not the brightest, so F8 it's going to be like 130. I think I'll probably go with that. Alright, F8 at 130th of a second. One, two, three. Boom. I think that'll look cool.
Okay, so we have left the uh, little cottage and just took a little spin through the mountains and stumbled across this uh, very rustic caravan portable home sort of <laughs> unit. I mean, that blue is pretty damn vibrant. And we've got some red curtains as well and a nice wooden door. So thought that would make for a pretty good photo. I mean, it's kind of a great subject for a film photo, isn't it? So we've got to try that. The light's actually hitting the side of it now a little bit more, which is good. So I'm going to get this thing in the tripod, I think. Take a shot. Okay, so I think I'm going to go F8 and my meter, it's 1 15th. And we're just getting a bit of glow onto the side. I am kind of in the middle of the road here, so don't want to spend too long. F8, 1 15th. And there it is. Hopefully that turns out I kind of like that. took a little drive um, through this valley and we're actually at a viewpoint, I have no idea what it's called, right at the top here and we have a view the whole way down through this, this windy road that's going through the valley here and we also have some benches and if you've seen any of the videos you'll know I like a good bench, <laughs> chair, old bench, I don't know how old these are but they look nice and two trees are just perfectly situated so that I can kind of frame the valley in between. So that's what I'm going for. I think I'm going to shoot this one at f11 because I kind of want everything from the bench to the mountain in the background in focus. So f11 and I meter that says 115, 130th. So I'm going to go 115th and then I'll be like two stops overexposed. All right, looks good. Yeah, that'll work. All right, I'm gonna go F11 to get the entire waterfall in focus. The whole way up to the top, hopefully. One second exposure. Last shot of the road. I think this will look kind of cool. There'll probably be a little bit of smoothing of the water and the sky's got a little bit of gradient going on. Three, two, one. Well, that might well be the most relaxing few days that I've ever had. A little bit kind of off the grid, having to wake up, no heating, light the fire in the morning and stuff. Um, yeah, that trip to Donegal was pretty damn epic and we definitely will be back at some point. Um, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Uh, normally the outros are inside, but I was out for a run and thought, I'd mix it up a little bit and I didn't want to drag this video on too much because it ended up being longer than expected but um, but yeah great trip and super happy with the scans um, that's obviously the third roll that I shot and I've learned some stuff from the first two um, shot at a higher aperture used the tripod for every shot in this one and used Porter 400 for the first time which was cool and yeah really happy with the scans they came back super super sharp and the lab we use for those scans is actually called Take It Easy Film Lab, which, I mean, could you find a more appropriate film lab for us to get our uh, film photos developed? <laughs> 
thought that was pretty cool um but yeah really happy with how they turned out uh, by the way we get a lot of questions from people asking what this camera's like for vlogging um i've never actually really tried it that much for walking but the few times we did it was too shaky so this is a little bit of a test i think i'll stop now in case it's too wobbly but a little bit of information for you um favorite photos from the session i would say there's actually quite a few and that's always a good thing when you go out and do photo vlogs like this um my favorites are probably the very first one of the little writing desk and the window that was just super cool just a very neat little space and i really like how the photo turned out um the other one is probably the one where the uh, woodshed was with the um, trailer and the wood all stacked up with the mountains and the snow in the background really love how that one turned out and um, the colors and stuff just really my cup of tea as you'll hear me saying and i also really like the one at the top of the viewpoint where we were looking down through the valley um that is just the exact type of shots i'd be looking for when we're out exploring and stuff i did end up having to crop that one a little bit more than i wanted it to because i kind of messed up the vertical lines i sort of lined the tree up and looking at it, it was probably a little bit wonky so had to crop that a little bit more than i wanted to um christina's two favorites are the one of the cow shed over the top of the fence that was running alongside it and um, which i do kind of like and got a little bit of flair in that one which i haven't experienced before with the with the yashika so something i have to pay attention to in uh, future photo vlogs or just using the camera in general and the one of us at the cottage as well that was you obviously the self timer was set slightly missed focus on it but definitely a cool one for the memories and that's definitely what what we were going for with with that one but yeah really got to see the full capabilities of the ashika mat with porter 400 this time which is cool and um, the first time i've really got to see just how sharp the photos can be and how good a results i can get so that's kind of exciting um i'm not going to talk much more on this one and, and bore you because i know it was already quite long but um how crazy is the fog by the way you can literally see like about 50 meters and that's it um, but yeah anyway hope you enjoyed this one if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more um like i said we've got some exciting news work as to where we'll be spending the next few months which we will let you know in the live stream which will be coming in the next few days um i'm gonna run it out of memory so yeah hope you enjoyed it as we always say take it easy don't be a stranger how wobbly is this thing when i'm walking <laughs>